Hi there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please push the bell icon so you will receive notification of all my regular uploads. Now what I have for you here today is the bottom of a wooden board game. It has two push buttons on the top, two compartments and it used to have two hinges on the bottom here which I took off. Now I think I will take the hint from the nice dark red color and kind of go that direction to get away from my usual teal colors. So first I will show you all kinds of things I pulled out of my drawers. Items I think may fit into this project and I won't use all of it. I think it's helpful sometimes to get started with some elements which you might think will look good together. But in the process I always make a lot of changes. So aside from all kinds of papers, I also picked a variety of fabrics. I will be using some lace or ribbons. I also had some rustic looking pieces of wood, a small canvas and I will pull out more things from my drawers and you will see as I start working on this thing. So I start by preparing the background and for that I use a product which is new to me and it's called Antique Wax by Art Minds. I apply it with a soft cloth and wipe off the excess and it really gives things a bit of a vintage look. It also works really well on paper, book pages and so on. Now for this project I want to combine some of the elements of an assemblage with the idea of a paper collage. So all together it should give me a different look to most of my other assemblage pieces. So please enjoy the process and like always I will put all the mediums as well as the materials I will be adding to this in the captions and I will talk to you in just a wee bit.
So this is my frame so far. I did take out the little circular thing from underneath the keys. I felt it was too much circles. It didn't need it. I also added a little bit of the wax on the number down here just to take off a bit of that shiny white. Next, I want to add a piece of this artist wire screen. As you can see, it is very easy to cut just with the scissor, but it is very shiny <laughs> silver, looks very new. So I want to age it by using some of my acrylic paints and my rusty paste. And it works fine as long as you give it plenty of time to dry. Here you see me hammer in some tiny nails. It keeps the screen in place. It also looks cool, even though some of my nails got a bit crooked, but that's all part of the look, right? Now for final addition, I want to add a hanger. And for that, I use a piece of chain and I just use the uh, screws which are already in the middle of these push buttons. And that makes everything quite sturdy and functional. All right, and on for a final look at my project. Here on the top is of course the hanger. And then you can see where the fabric wrapped around the edges. And then here on the inside is that pretty rusted heart in the little canvas frame, some burlap leaves, the image on the old rose, the wooden die cut, and then I found this really huge, very pretty capuchon. There's another image of the little dancing girl, a little more ribbon here, and then on the top my tassels and underneath the feather, this one I found in my backyard, another image of the little boy leaning, and so I positioned him against the wood over there. Another image here of the gentleman and these buttons came from an old living room chair. And then I added a few tiny little decorations. Not too much. I didn't want to overload it. Now I really like the rustic piece of wood and of course also the wire screen. I think it gives it a bit of an industrial and unique look. Now before I go I have a question for you because I have an additional piece and I'm going back and forth about adding this to this assemblage. It's a naturally rusted piece coming from a garden decoration and I just cannot decide if it would look good up here on the top or not. So what do you think? Let me know. For now I will keep it aside. In today's project I use simple everyday things or easy to come by craft items. So you don't need a big amount of unique findings to make an assemblage piece. I hope you like the looks of this one. Thanks for coming and bye bye for now.